Okay, Python on Homework time. Okay, so um, in the hardware newsletter this week, there is a Halloween roundup. Yes. So check out all of these things. So many skulls. You can see all of the things made with CircuitPython. And yes, pumpkins. Pumpkins and candy carrying devices and you name it, if it has sound or audio or whatever. Um, I have a bunch of news, but this week we're going to focus on a very specific story, which we have on our website. And it's called Uploading UF2 Files with Mac OS 13.0 Ventura. We tagged Apple, Microbit, Raspberry Pi. Everyone is having this issue. Raspberry Pi has a blog post about this. Microbit folks reached out to us. Lydia, what's going on with this latest version of macOS? Because it seems like this happens every time there's a This is not the first major, time this has happened. version of macOS. And, well, it's also happened, I think, with Microsoft. I think one of the first Windows, oh, right. 11, Windows 11 yeah, yeah, yeah. release candidate, like previews, also had this issue. So basically, um, you know, uh, Microbit and um, Raspberry Pi and Adafruit, we've, and, and everyone who's using our code, which includes, you know, like Seed and, and SparkFun and more, um, we use UF2 and um, you know fake mass storage bootloaders to load code, and that's because it's it's really hard to get people to install things like ESP tool um, or to install Python, or sometimes you can't if you have a Chromebook. Um, they're locked down, so you don't have access to command line tools. Whereas mass storage is a universal interface for a USB, and so we you know having USB be the way that people program my controller boards is, has been revolutionary. Uh, for the last five years, which is um, super awesome. So um, that's great. And it's been, you know, it, you know, originally um, there was there was bootloaders that used mass storage, um, but until Microsoft came around and developed the UF2 standard, uh, it was really hard to do that reliably. And they actually did a very smart job of figuring out how to do it in a way that every major operating system, Linux, Mac, and Windows, um, could write to these drives cleanly without errors and it worked like every time. Um, and that's been like for the last six, seven years or so, like we've, everybody's been using this. Uh, again, Microbit's been using this technique. Um, Raspberry Pi built it into their ROM bootloader. Adafruit's been using this. All of our boards that we, we can, we use UF2, it's, it's been great. Um, however, in the latest version of Mac OS 13 Ventura, um, they, the finder, when you drag and drop files, it, it does some sort of like read back thing. We're not exactly sure. There's something that changed um, in 13 from 12 where it um, does not like these small, you know, fake mass storage devices. And there's no reason it, it should have this issue. Um, and, and again, it's happened in multiple other operating systems. Um, but it's just what's one of the things when you like get the latest beta alpha release of an operating system like th this has happened before and sometimes you know it takes a couple months and then we get it fixed and then it's fixed and it's wonderful um, so we're still you know trying to get in touch with Apple to be like hey you know you you decided to do something that's non-standard um, and and broke this way of what you know when you drag and drop a file it should just write the file it shouldn't try to do anything else and that's how it's been for like 25 years, uh, 30 years on computers, please please don't go back and do something different. Um, <laughs> um, so or you can just always downgrade to System 7, which in my opinion was the best yeah. Mac OS system so version. On, on our blog post, we have what you can do to help, and also um, Raspberry Pi does too. So if you go to raspberrypi.com and look at the post of Ventura problem, um, they have instructions on how to report this to Apple using the feedback assistant. And that will actually and, be really good because, uh, to be honest, the more people yeah. who bring it up, it's not like, oh, like they're getting these complaints. It's they actually look at the volume. If they have a lot of people saying yeah. this is an issue, they know it's important and they'll fix it. And I know they'll fix it because this has come up before. And it's yeah, fixed they before. just need to find out. Does anyone care that this is broken? Yes. Um, so be nice and everything. Just let them know, hey, like, you know, this thing that we all use for especially um, kids learning electronics and coding with micro bits, with Raspberry Pis with Adafruit stuff. Um, you could use a feedback assistant. Um, there is a uh, feedback, feedback number, number yeah. which is FB1172530. And then um, you can also uh, check out the GitHub issue that um, Raspberry Pi has open. Um, we have a summary of all this. There is a workaround where you can use like 
terminal. You can also they also have Pico use tool. other things. They have, they have a couple things, but it really would be that's probably not what most young yeah. folks are going to do. When like the whole simplicity of how a lot of these things work is, you just can drag and drop files instead of installing IDs and all that. So. so to be honest, you know, if you use UF2 a lot, um, if you're using Microbit, if you're using um, RP2040, I don't recommend updating to Ventura at this time, um, because unless you're comfortable using these command line tools. Um, you know, Ventura is, is ultimate uh, bleeding edge. Um, you don't have to upgrade for security reasons. You don't have to upgrade for support reasons, in fact, you know, and people who run Mac OS on the cutting edge, like you know, it's yeah, whenever you get I, the latest version, a lot of stuff, like, I mean, your yeah. mouse stopped working I, well, once. Yeah, I, I yeah, I had to... Um, Did yeah. you email the mouse developer? Yeah, and, there's a lot of things that happen. So I have a production machine, and then I have a machine where I'm like, let me start to see what's going to break with this new OS. Um, but sure has been okay. Um, there's a couple of things about it. Um, if you're not, if you don't read all the things it does, it's like, Oh, that's weird. Um, so my, you know, computer was next to my phone or iPad, and my mouse went from one thing to another. So my yeah. mouse went from my computer to an iPad. I'm like, whoa, that's a weird thing that yeah. I didn't expect to happen. Like, why is my mouse on another device? It's cool. It's a cool thing. But you have to remember, like, oh, they turn this off and stuff. You know, so, and I will say, like, you know, there. It's because you know, I also have people like. We have people who are like still running Windows System 7, which again was a great system version for Windows, but really is, is quite old, it's over 10 years old. Um, you know, Microsoft has a bit of a thing where when you upgrade the Microsoft operating system, everything is backwards compatible because it's extremely important to them. Yeah. Apple has a slightly different philosophy and there's no right or wrong philosophy, but they prefer to break things. Um, they do not, care about backward compatibility as much. And so um, I will say if you're doing, if you're an electrical engineer and you're doing a lot of engineering and development, um, if you're on Windows, I recommend always updating to the latest stable. But with Mac, I, re I always wait. Move I, fast and buy iPhones. I, I wait on the Mac because of this okay. comes up so often. Well, hopefully someone at Apple will see all this too. Yeah. And uh, you know, this happens each time when there's a major uh, OS update. So hopefully they'll check it out. So like I said, you can look at, um, Raspberry Pi, good our yeah. site. Um, you know, file a bug report with them. They make it pretty easy. And that's this week's Python hardware news.